This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's Joshua Usyk Fight Week. Uh, delighted to be joined by Egis. Egis, how are you, sir? First of all? I'm very good. As you can see in this middle of a jungle, we're feeling very good, ready to go. I can see the leaves are very close to your head. Yes, I hope no monkeys there. <laughs> or snakes. Yes. Um, Egis, you obviously did the the media workout yesterday uh, there wasn't a lot of boxing on show from uh, Alexander or Anthony uh, a bit of juggling from Alexander well you know he juggles he likes to, to juggle and they, you know, so that's what he's showing to the to the public what he's capable to do just not just the boxing but uh, we're going to believe all the boxing in the ring for Saturday night we know that Alexander has called Anthony's name out for quite some time. He's been very vocal, especially in interviews, about wanting this fight. He finally did land this fight. It was mandated from the, the WBO. Um, were you in any doubt that Anthony would take this fight? Did you ever think that Anthony would vacate the belt and not fight Alexander? What did you think? We had a lot of different thoughts. Uh, the, the, the thinking was mixed between the camps, between promoters. Uh, I know everybody wanted to see and everybody pushed for the Joshua Fury fight, uh, which is, was um, from other side as well. They had the issues with the WBC and the rematch with Wilder. And uh, here it, it was all kind of a mixed thoughts. It was mad days, it was a good days. Uh, until that fight, it was a very, very long journey to close this fight. Very long journey, and you know, then again, we had the thoughts: what? Uh, it's not gonna fight. It's not gonna happen. Uh, WBO almost ordered to fight us to fight the Jews. Um, that fight didn't happen. We took a pause because we we fought, uh, and uh, Alexander wanted wanted to fight Joshua. So every time I was talking with him on the phone or with a promoter, we were all on the same page. Let's wait. Let's not hurry to take another fight. The fight with Anthony is coming, so it's a much better, much bigger fight. And this fight for Alexander, it was his dream fight. I think uh, even, even the talks already was about Joshua Usyk fight, even then he was in a in a cruiserweight division. Alexander's had the two fights at heavyweight against Witherspoon and Chisora. Um, in your opinion, is that kind of ideal preparation in the heavyweight scene to fight someone like Anthony Joshua? Would you have liked maybe one or two more fights before fighting someone like Anthony Joshua at heavyweight? Listen, Alexander, Alexander had a lot of experience on his shoulders. Uh, he did everything what he's supposed to do in the cruiserweight division. He did a couple of fights in the heavyweight division. He is 34 years old. What to wait for? What to wait for? Where? You know, until he's going to be 40 and then try to fight? It's, uh, I think he's ready. He's capable to do it. Um, a lot of cruiserweights did it, to name a few, Evander Holfield did you know, from light heavyweight, not even from a cruiserweight, he did from a light heavyweight. You know. And I'm not, of course, comparing you know, fighters, but uh, uh, I, think, I think we have, and Alexander has a very good chance on Saturday night. What do you make of Joshua's... Uh conditioning that obviously we saw a little bit yesterday at, at the workout in, in Fos Groves. He seems to have uh, trimmed down a little bit to look to come in lighter. What do you and your team make of that? Well, I think, you know, he's doing the right thing. He's preparing, you know, for uh, maybe, maybe uh, the toughest opponent he ever, he ever, he ever uh, chased. You know, the toughest opponent he ever uh, fought. So... I think, um, I think, I don't know, you know, I didn't have any, uh, I didn't have any spice in the Anthony's game, so I cannot tell what condition he is. You know, looking for him yesterday for three minutes in the ring, then he moved a little bit, bum, 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 so it's, you know, it's a hard to say. 
you know, that we, we're going to see on Saturday night how he handles, uh, you know, how many rounds he can handle it. You know? Same thing for Alexander, same thing you know, as well. Depends, you know. The, Saturday night, the best man wins. Um, obviously, yesterday, Anthony Joshua pledged his future and his uh, rest of his career, shall we say, uh, into signing for Matchroom and, and Eddie Hearn, which is relatively unheard of in, in today's age to commit yourself for the rest of your career to one promoter. Well, uh, depends where career will go. Eddie Hearn might going to be looking on Sunday for new fighters for the rest of the career. Well, I suppose if I'm asking yourself that, you're coming here to win. So you're saying the end of his career possibly happens on, on Sunday morning? That can happen too. So then uh, then uh, we might going to have an offer from Eddie Hearn to sign Usyk for the end of his career. Um, it's going to be some night at Tottenham Hotspur's football ground, which is not far from where we are now. There's going to be 65,000 plus. Um, it's going to be some night, I guess. It's going to be. It's going to be some night. It's going to be some great night. Yes, of course, of course. It's a lot of tickets. The tickets were sold in less than 24 hours, and I heard more than 65. I heard something like over 70. And you know the things like that. It makes happy as a, as a management, as a promotion. The tickets are sold. The, the, the fight has a huge, big demand. Um, even look, even to get into the to, to watch a weight in, you have to pay. You can't go just you know just just to see it. I think um, we might going to be seeing uh, the best or the, the, the you know the, the greatest pay per view sales in the boxing in, in, in Britain. Why we're going to reach a sky, you know, for the pay-per-views, which is everybody hopes. Do you believe a knockout for your man against Joshua this week? Boxing is boxing is you know it's 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 a dangerous sport. One punch in a heavyweight division can change everything. Um, yes, of course I believe. Uh, anybody believe Usi going to knock out Bellu? Nobody believed. It. Nobody even predicted. But things happening in boxing. Not long to find out. Well, Agis, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Have you got anything else you'd like to say before we finish? No, not much. Just everybody, you know, tune up. Look for the fight. If you are here in the UK, you can see on a Sky Sport. If you're aboard of UK, the zone. Tune up. Don't miss. Bring your popcorn and a beer. Don't blink. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Uh, literally three days away, and then yeah, it's on Showtime. Nothing but the Showtime. Good fights. Yeah, Saturday night.